Hello, I'm Anguish, and you want to get started with dev mode in Rivals of Aether. The first thing you're going to want to do if you want to enable dev mode in your game is navigate to the Versus Settings menu in Local Mode. Then, enable Developer Mode here in this toggle. This will allow you to activate your Developer Mode files in any of the single player modes. Then, they're actually going to need to go to our dev mode folder in order to change these files. If you're on a Windows PC, you'll press Windows plus R. This will open a run prompt. Then type in percent app data percent. I'll be putting that as a caption on the screen because it's way too small to read like this. This will take you usually to roaming. You want to back out on using the top bar to app data and then make your way to local. From here, you're going to want to find the Rivals of Aether folder. Once you've done that, simply go through dev mode, navigate to the last dev mode version. In this case, it's 0.5, however, there could be more dev mode updates in the future. Active, and you'll be presented with all of your files. However, if you want to import somebody else's files, then you're going to need to grab the INI file and put it in over one of them. In this case, we'll be using custom Claren. Open the zip and extract it anywhere you want. Here, I'll just extract it to my downloads folder, which gives me the custom Claren INI file. You can copy this and paste it into our dev mode folder, and then replace the file and destination, and the entire replacement complete. We can close both of these now. However, I usually like to keep the dev mode folder open because I like to make changes. In game, instead of rebooting the entire game, whenever you want to refresh your files, you can simply press F3 and it'll give you a neat sound effect and a prompt in the corner telling you your dev mode has been updated. I should mention that if you're planning on using your dev mode files online, please enable them through the character select screen menu. Up here, you can simply select the cog icon in order to prompt the opposing player on whether or not they should enable dev mode for that session. Please note that it will absolutely crash 100% of the time if you do not have matching files. Either that or it will end up in a horrific desync. So please, please, please make sure you both got your files from the same source with the same version and everything checks out. It might still desync anyway, but that's not anybody's fault. It just happens. Enjoy playing dev mode with your friends or by yourself. And thank you for watching.